England against Colombia. Jordan, no Lauren James. How do they set up with that absence? Uh, it's, a, it's a big absence, especially with, uh, there's a lot of talk about Lauren James coming into this just for, from her performances in WSL this year. But I think when you saw how England had issues right away. Kira Walsh out after the second game. They adapted their formation, went to a 3-5-2, did this English squad. And they were playing in the 3-5-2, even with Walsh back this last game. So now you lose James, who is a central player in that midfield three. Do they go back to a 4-3-3? I think it makes sense with some of the players that they have. They could bring in Ella Toon and play her centrally with Kira Walsh and in that let Stanway get a little bit higher. This could push, and hear me out, I think Rachel Daly could start as a winger. Mm -hmm. And Greenwood could go back to her left back position. You play a 4-3-3 with Rachel Daly as a winger who it has been showing as a wing back. She is very effective in the front line, has a great season in WSL. So I think they change formations. I do too. I think they go from uh, that three back, which they changed to against China, getting a 6 1 win over China. They switch back to the four back. And Rachel Daly's coming off a goal in that last match over England. So she is, is riding high in these moments. However, Colombia. On the other side, we heard head coach Nelson Abadia talking about this side and how getting to the quarterfinals is great, but this isn't a Cinderella story that ends here. They want to get to the final. They want to lift the cup at the end of it all. They've got Linda Caicedo, the forward mm -hmm. in the front line, who we just saw beat Jamaica in extraordinary ways. Her ability to play back to goal, create space from her defender, go at defenders 1v1, turn them, and set up her teammates is tremendous. If she can get isolated against an English backline and create space for herself and allow Usme and, and her other teammates to come and support her, that's going to be the key for Colombia over England. Yeah, I agree. And we touched on this before, but her not tracking back so much and being able to hold the ball up higher up the pitch so then Colombia can move up because we are expecting this English squad to attack, attack, attack. Mm -hmm. When she's able to hold the ball up with her technical awareness, she's physical, and Colombia is going to be dangerous moving into the middle to attacking third. And I think she's going to be the key in them having the ability to do so with her hold up play. Oh, so much context here. But guys, let's get <laughs> predictions again, please. Uh, England against Colombia. Darian, what are you thinking? Oh, starting with me. I didn't think about this. I'm glad she didn't start uh, with me. <laughs> I'm going to go with England. Yeah, 3-1. Oh, my gosh. I want a lot of goals. England's winning 2 to nothing. Oh, oh, nothing. I have England winning one nothing. I think Colombia's defense is going to be stronger than people give them credit for. They were able to neutralize yeah, been Bunny yeah. Shaw been and really Jamaica. Um, there's a lot more weapons for England, but I still think England gets the win one nil. Oh gosh, at least I'm gonna have to follow you there. You've been really good about your prediction, so I'm gonna go one nil England Sometimes. as well. Remember that four nothing for USA? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna list you off with that one. Um, what, someone we haven't been talking about is Alessia Russo. Is she is she gonna get some some shine here at all? Well, she would like I to, but so. she has to put the ball in the back of the net in order to do that. <laughs> Jordan, uh, I'm just, just saying direct. that's the I truth. Love it. it's, it's the truth. Oh my goodness! You're right. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. You're right. But you know, former Tar Heel, she was she's worth so score. much money. And you know what? This is it. This is when yeah. she's gonna score. I, I say it here now. Um, I think the four-three-three suits her better, though. I agree. Great point. Yeah.